If you wish to work with Terraform, then writing manifest files is a common activity. If you don't know how to do that one, then this video is going to helpful for you. Hey guys, my name is Ravi Shankar. In this video, we are going to see how to write our first Terraform file. To understand this one, we are going to see how to provision an EC2 instance. For this, we need Terraform and AWS, which is already configured in my system. If you don't know how to do that one, then please check my previous video. Before writing a Terraform script to provision an EC2 instance, first we need to see what is the workflow of a Terraform. In Terraform, we are going to execute couple of commands which you should aware. That is Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform apply and Terraform destroy. Apart from these four, we are also going to execute Terraform validate. If you see the first command that is Terraform init, this command enables connectivity between our Terraform and cloud provider. Next command is Terraform validate. To validate our syntax, we can execute Terraform validate. Next command Terraform plan. This will tell you what resources you are going to provision or create as part of this script. This command doesn't actually create the infra. So it is kind of a dry run. Next command Terraform apply. This command actually creates the infrastructure. If we wish to destroy our infrastructure, what we have created as part of Terraform apply, then we can use the Terraform destroy command. These are the high level commands. If you want to understand more deeper about these commands, please mention in the comment section so that I can create a new video. If you see the Terraform manifest file, this is the skeleton or template. So it will have a provider block and resource block. Provider block tells you that what is the target environment or target cloud you are going to provision the infrastructure and resource block tells you that what and all resources you are going to create. If you search for Terraform providers list, you can see browse providers. If you open this one, you can see AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, Kubernetes, Alibaba Cloud, Oracle Cloud. Like this, thousands of providers are there. So you can see here 2953 providers Terraform supports at the time of recording this video. So you can use any of these providers to provision the infra. We are going to use AWS in this case. So you should open this one and how to use this provider. It will be mentioned over here. Use provider. You can just open this one. You can see provider AWS. This is how you should use. And also there is a block called Terraform. At this moment, it might not be required, but you can use directly your provider name. And in this block, you can provide your configuration options. Let's write our provider block in the VS code, which we have installed in our previous video. VS code. So this is the Visual Studio code. And if you are opening at the first time, this is how it looks like. So I'm going to create a new file before creating. Let me open a folder that is open folder. I will go to desktop, Velaxi and Terraform. So this is the Terraform and here I'm going to create a file. So select a folder. So this is a Terraform directory which we have opened and you can create a file over here. There is a plus symbol. Let me create a file called ec2.tf and all Terraform files should have a extension of tf. Okay, that is how Terraform manifest file is designed. And here you can write your script. So first thing is provider. If you are writing provider, you can see it is enabled syntax. And let me click over here and you can see this block has been created. How we got it? Because of the plugins. If you wish to install the plugins, you can go over here and you can search for the Terraform and uh, it will list out all the plugins which are relevant to the Terraform. I have installed this Terraform plugin. You can see here it is currently installed and it is installed by 6,52,000. You can use this Terraform plugin and over here also. And if you are writing Terraform files for Azure, you can install this. So based on your requirement, you can install it. However, while installing, you should make sure that it has been downloaded by many people. Okay. So go back over here and you can write your Terraform for AWS. Okay. So this is how you can write it. And uh, once you have written your cloud provider, you are going to specify the region. So in this case, we are going to use a region called AP South one. Okay. Next thing we need to provide the resource block. So you can search for resource 
and you can see here so it is going to accept two block labels over here okay if you don't know how to define this one it's always best to practice to refer the terraform documentation let's go back and look for how we need to use the resource block you can search for resource block so you can see resource and configuration language if i click over here you can see here resource block how we can define a resource block you need to specify the resource followed by the aws instance this is block label 1 and block label 2 anyway we are also trying to create aws ec2 instance to create an aws ec2 instance you should provide the block label as aws instance okay if you don't know how to provide this one you can just search for if you search for terraform resource name for ec2 instance you can see here aws instance this is the information example usage and what and all things you need to provide before going further let's go and list out what and all attributes or resources are required to create an ec2 instance first thing is os nothing but operating system which operating system we want to install then instance type next key pair then security group number of instances and name of the instance storage and few other things these are the some of the important parameters which you need to provide however while creating a resource or instance by using terraform you no need to provide all of this you just need to provide the os that is ami we can call next thing key pair then instance type okay so this is the information which you need to provide while creating an ec2 instance let's gather this information from our aws console this is my aws ec2 console and i am already in mumbai region and some of the servers are already provisioned over here anyway we are going to provision new one by using terraform before that one if you launch an instance you can see here this is the information which you need to provide before launching an instance however we are going to use the amazon linux ami for that you need to get the ami id so same ami id we are going to use in our terraform script and the ami id is unique for each region and each operating system so you must aware of this one or you should replace this one in your script so let's go back over here and uh, i need to provide ami as this one this value we need to change according to the terraform syntax we will change that one in a while next thing is key pair i need to go and get the key pair i will look for the existing key pairs that is rtp03 is already available so same key pair i am going to use it so it should be rtp03 next thing instance type we are going to use the t2 micro so i got the values but i need to replace or i need to update the keys so what keys or what attributes i need to use for this one that is where again terraform documentation will help us let's go back to terraform documentation and you can look for the argument references to know more about this one let's go on to the argument references you can see here the following arguments are supported that is for ami you need to use the argument called ami we are already using that argument that is ami and another thing is it will also specify whether it is mandatory or not you can see here this is optional but it requires unless you provide the launch template you can refer this documentation for more details i will give this documentation link in the description of this video next thing is key pair so to define key pair you need to give the attribute name as key underscore name and it is optional however if you wish to log into the system you need to provide the key pair so let's change the key pair as the key underscore name next thing so next thing is instance type right so go to the instance type you can see here instance type again it is optional and uh, you should provide it if you are not giving a launch template launch template nothing but if you are using it as part of your auto scaling might not be required but if you are not using as part of auto scaling you should provide the instance type however we have given the same instance type so we have provided the attribute names and uh, we need to provide the block label and name so block label as you know it is aws underscore instance right you can see here aws underscore instance and this is the name you are going to provide for the reference in the terraform level so i can name it as a demo server 
okay now we have written our terraform file and one thing you should remember attribute value must be in the double quotes so let me specify everything in the double quotes okay i have just updated it let me save this file now to run this terraform manifest file we should open the terminal and we should execute the commands which we have discussed at the initial stage of this video so now let's open the terminal and here we should execute our terraform commands before executing terraform commands let me list out the content of this folder you can see here ec2.tf and you can ignore this ppt and uh, let me execute the initial command that is terraform init and you can see the changes what happened in this folder let me execute it you can see here initializing the backend you can see here it is initializing the provider plugins and it has created a dot terraform it contains all the plugins which are required to connect with our aws cloud so it downloaded the plugins for aws cloud and this is the version and there is one more file called dot terraform.lock.hcl file has been created anyway now let's validate our code for that terraform validate so this command validate our terraform manifest file you can see here it is success which means that syntactically it is correct now we will execute terraform plan which is going to be a dry run of your infrastructure now it will go and connect with your aws cloud and see what and all resources it is going to create it now you can see here it is planned to add one resource zero to change and zero to destroy which means that it is going to create one ec2 instance and if i scroll it up you can see here aws instance demo server it is going to create a server called demo server and whatever information we have provided it will take with this and whatever we didn't mention it will take default ones okay now terraform apply which is going to create the terraform infra sorry our aws infra actually by using this command and also you can see here dot terraform state dot lock dot info file and terraform dot tf state file has been created let me execute it and you can see here it is creating an ec2 instance it takes a while and you can also observe in the ec2 dashboard let me go back and you can see here one new server is about to create and it is in pending state and now it is in running state by this time our script might be successfully executed yes and you can see one resource has been added and the resource id is ends with 452 you can check for the same over here that is 452 okay so this is how we can able to provision an ec2 instance and if you try to run the terraform apply command once again you can see here there is no changes because according to your terraform file you need to create only one ec2 instance which is already provisioned and nothing to change for your current infrastructure if you want to know more about this one you should know about the terraform.tf state file if you need a detailed explanation please comment it in the below i will create a new video now the last command which we need to test it is terraform destroy so terraform destroy is going to sorry so terraform destroy command is going to destroy our infrastructure which we have provisioned as part of terraform apply now let's try to execute it and you can see here it is going to zero to add zero to change one to destroy so it is going to destroy the infra or instance which we have created and uh, you just need to specify s yes to terminate your instance now if i go and check it out in my aws console you can see here it is shutting down all right it has been destroyed and uh, if you go and check it in the aws console it should be terminated yes you can see here it is terminated this is how you can write your first terraform file and execute it and make sure that this information has been updated according to your aws account that's all for this lecture in next video we are going to see how to provision a vpc by using terraform manifest file thank you and see you in the next video